3D Printed Pet Feeder. The link for download the STL files is in the description. 3D Model. Parts what you need for assembling. Solder all of the threaded inserts into the 3D printed parts. Screw up the charging joint adapter on the covering. Then put the topper on it. Place the bottom closing part into the covering. Screw up the covering holders and the food slide on the main body. Electronical parts. What you need. Put the bearings into the main body. Put the NEMA 17 stepper motor into the main body. You can change the position of the motor freely. Place the pulley on the motor shaft. Put the shaft screw into the food disc. Place the washer, the pulley, and the timing belt on the food disc shaft. Squeeze the washer to the bearing, then fix the pulley with the screws. Place the motor pulley and the food disc pulley above each other. Then place the timing belt on them and pull the screws. Put the covering on the cowering holders, then screw these together. Screw up the end switch to the end switch holder. Solder the wires to the end switch. Screw up the front transparent plate to the covering. You can print it from transparent filament, or you can cut it from plexiglass. Screw up the end switch holder to the main body. You have to position the end switch precisely. It will be the home position of the feeder. It works smoothly. the code. If you want to change the delay hours, just change the delay hours variable. If you want to use the buzzer, just delete the comment signs. Upload the code. Here is the connection diagram. The links for every needed files are in the description. The finished circuit board. Let's see how it works. There is a toggle switch to change the mode. You can use two modes, the charging mode and the automatic mode. There are two LEDs. When the green LED is on, it is in automatic mode. When the blue LED is on, it is in charging mode. There is a slide switch to turn on the circuit board. There is a push button. When you are in charging mode, you can step the motor with this. To use the buzzer is optional. If you want to use it, insert on the circuit board. Wire up the circuit board. Insert the motor wires into the sockets. Insert the power wires into the screw terminal. Insert the wires of the limit switch into the screw terminal. Fasten the circuit board to the main body. Power up the circuit board. If the food disc isn't in home position, it will go home automatically. When you want to charge it up, you have to place in the bottom closing part into the covering and remove the topper. Then switch the toggle switch into charging mode. Let's charge it up with food. To rotating the food disc, push the stepper button. I don't fill it up fully because I just have a 16 Newton centimeter stepper motor. What is not strong enough? I recommend to use a NEMA 1745 Newton centimeter type stepper motor. If the motor lost steps during the process, just reset the Arduino and it will go home automatically. I also recommend to use self-adhesive PTFE foil on the inner side of covering and the bottom closing part for the better slippage. I also will do this update. To operate it in automatic mode, switch the mode changer switch into automatic mode. Put back the topper and remove the bottom closing part. The links for download all files what you need are in the description.